What's up, my name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot and in this quick video series, I'm going to be showing you how to fix common issues with Crewlink. Crewlink is basically a proximity chat mod for Among Us where you can talk to and hear other players when you're nearby them. The popularity of this mod has absolutely exploded and with that servers have got issues and a lot of players have issues with simple things that can be solved rather easily. In this video, we're going to be tackling the very simple waiting for Among Us error or open game prompt. If you open Among Us and you see this over here, clicking open game does nothing, or it simply gives you an error, there's a couple of things that we can try. Number one, if you see an error when you see the screen over here and you click open game, make sure to Google that error instead. If you're simply stuck here in waiting for Among Us, then there's a couple of things that we can do. Let's say if Among Us is already open next to you. The most common fix to this error is simply making sure that you're not running a beta of the game. And of course, you're playing on an official release from the actual Steam store. To check to see if you're running a beta, simply head across to Steam Library, locate Among Us, right click on it, click Properties, then head across to the Betas tab and make sure you have none opt out of all beta programs selected here. If you don't, simply change it to that, close Crewlink, wait for it to update on Steam, and then reopen Crewlink and click Open Game. Otherwise, another common issue is simply making sure that Steam and Among Us aren't running as admin and you can run Crewlink as administrator. Simply hit start and type in Crewlink or locate the Crewlink icon on your desktop or somewhere else. Simply click run as administrator and then click yes when prompted. This way, this app can do anything at once with Among Us on your PC and Among Us just has to listen to it. That's what we want. To check to see if Steam or Among Us is running as administrator, simply open up your task manager with Control shift escape Then locate Steam on the list or preferably Among Us. Right click on Steam and click go to details. When you see this page over here, you should see a column called elevated. This is what we're looking for. If you don't, you can right click anywhere on this top bar and click select columns. Inside of here, simply scroll down until you find elevated which is right here at the bottom, elevated. Make sure it's checked. Then looking next to steam.exe or preferably among us, check to see if it says elevated, yes. If it does, simply close out of it and steam and make sure to start them up as non-administrator. To do this, you can simply locate the steam icon and click open instead of clicking run as administrator. If you click open and it gives you a prompt to run as administrator, simply locate the icon, right click and click open file location or search for it and click as I have here. And if you see another shortcut, once again, right click and then click open file location. Then when you see steam.exe or Among Us, right click on it and click properties. Then head across to the compatibility tab and make sure that run as administrator is unchecked. Then simply double click on it from here. We'll be doing the exact same steps for Among Us. If you're already in the Steam folder, you can scroll up, look for Steam apps, common, and then you should see Among Us here if you've got it installed on the same drive as Steam. I haven't, I've got it on eDrive, games, Steam, Steam apps, common, and Among Us is over here. If I right click on Among Us.exe, properties, compatibility, I can check the exact same thing here. Once I've made sure that this is also off, simply double click on it here, and Crewlink should be able to link up with it. Then if you're still having issues, make sure that the Among Us game you have is the official Steam release and of course not running as admin. If there was a very recent update for Among Us, the program will break and it needs to be updated. Auto updates will eventually be pushed automatically as soon as they come out in Crewlink. You won't need to worry about this, you simply need to check the GitHub page to see if things are updating. You can head across to the GitHub link in the description down below and then click releases on the right hand side. If Crewlink isn't updating for you, simply look for the latest release, check to see if it's been updated more recently than the game has been updated and then click on the setup for the latest version. Simply download it, open it up and then open up Crewlink once again. And finally, if you're still having issues, make sure you're not playing on a cracked version of Among Us. If you're playing on a cracked version of Among Us and you're having issues, don't be surprised. The game is cheap, it's worth a purchase if you enjoy it, supported developers. If you have a copy that's not legitimate, that's up to date, odds are that it might work, it might not. Again, you should not support piracy under any circumstances, especially for really cheap games that you enjoy. But anyways, that's about it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching, my name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!